Hey, all you Clovers, my name's Phoebe, and I'm going to show you this really great feature. It's trace as internal shapes for graphics. It's really fun and great, and we can go through it. It's going to be really eye-opening, so let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, let's talk about the edit graphic tool tracing. So... I'm gonna to go to my edit graphic tool over here. See, so cute in here. I'm gonna select this graphic, Clo, you know, in case you guys forget which software we're using, Clo. And then what I can do is right click. Once I right clicked, I'm gonna have this option, right? Trace as internal shape. This is when the magic happens. I can then select trace as internal shape look at over here in the 3D window, how like it's outlined around because that's the internal shape that's just been created. I can then select my graphic, move this away if I want. And it's a little bit hard to see, but it's right here, my internal shape. If I go to my edit pattern tool, I can then see it a little bit better in red. I'll also show it over here in my 3D window, the red internal shape. So pretty cool right you're probably like oh my gosh that is really cool like but what can i do with it <laughs> what can't you do with it there's so many things you can do with this now you can use this for like creating embossed or like really or like patch graphics or anything like that so it's really cool because i can then just select these internal lines right right click clone as pattern with sewing it's cloned. What you might have also noticed is this. So what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to select this, right click, copy, then paste right into here. And then I can right click and convert to whole. You might be like, Phoebe, that didn't do anything. It did. I just have a shape inside. Look at that. Then I'm just going to quickly sew this. Great. And to save my computer a little bit, I'm just going to right click and superimpose over. And I've created a really cool and easy patch. I can also then, of course, because now they're pattern pieces, lower this down to like a five particle distance and simulate. And what's really cool is, let me just delete this graphic, is now since all of this is a pattern, just add the, I can now like change out this fabric. I can make it any color I want. Um, I can, also, like, do any type. So I could say, like, this is shiny. Um, I could make it a velvet. You know, you can really do a lot of things now to this. Also, if you wanted to, you could then decide to, like, right-click and cut, right? And then you could cut literally this all out and delete these. And then it could be, but just make sure you cut and sew this to this. And delete these so that then they, like, it acts as a, it's, like, truly a part of the, it's not sitting on top. It could be, like, sitting below or, like, a little bit indented in more. So if I do that, I can then simulate and you see how that's like inside. I forgot to sew the O. Oh no, I forgot to sew the O. Okay, that's all the jokes for today, I promise. I can also now see why this is so weird. All right, nice. Sometimes you just need to do the extra mile. I could then like, okay, look at this. I could then select this stuff and I could make this like a thicker rendering. Make this a bit thicker. And then it would make it look like this is indented in. 
Like, that's kind of cool. So you, like, can really do a lot of different things. It's really up to you. Like, I can make this plastic, right? I could, like, add pressure to this. You might be like, why would you do that? But you could add pressure so that it pushes in slightly, right? So that it, like, goes in. And then you have, like, another extra, like, oomph. You know, the extra oomph. You could then add, like, top stitching, right? There's so many things you can do to this. Like, make your graphics look more realistic and cooler and all of that. It's, like, out there. Here is something you might not be like, oh, I can do that. And that is you could also use this when it comes to production as well. So if I go into, let me just open up my other file. Right before we go into other techniques in which you can use this, I just want to also show you what will happen if you had a graphic with a white background or other backgrounds and how that will work. So let me bring in some graphics. So here if I bring in this graphic, which has a PNG background, everything's groovy. I can right click, say trace as internal shape, and it'll all work great, as we all know, right? Now, if I bring in a patch that has a white background, I can again right click, trace as internal shape, and Chloe will know that with the white background, that probably means it's not supposed to be there. And it will just trace the shapes that aren't white. Now, if it was a different color background, like pink or purple or like, I don't know, something else, Chloe would not recognize that and it will trace that color. So it is only for white backgrounds that Chloe acknowledges like, oh, this is probably like a background. It's probably not meant and it won't trace it. But if it isn't white, it will not do that. So white, it will. Not white, it won't. Let's jump into how you can use this kind of technique with things outside of just your regular graphic creation way. So here I have my other file. And what I did is there's an all over print right of this anchor and then I created a separate like single graphic for that what you can then do is select that let me just so now I'm going to put place this on my shirt actually place it pretty damn close uh then I can right click and say like okay this is like how I always want my graphics to line up like I always want the anchor to be centered just like this every time. So then I can right click traces internal shape. Cool. And then I can do the same for this. Right click traces internal shape. Then I can just go through, delete all these graphics. And when I go into print layout, you'll see that then I can use the this internal shape now to help align my patterns to my print layout so that it always lines up where I want it to be. Which is really cool, right? Like that's like really, really helpful. Makes it so life can work a lot faster and it, you can always be like aligned, 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 aligned. But yeah, so there's a lot of different ways to use this tool, which is really, really fun. But the concept's always the same, right? So it's always going to be edit graphic tool, select your graphic. Let me bring it in. Select the graphic, right click, trace as internal shape. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you can't wait to add in graphics in a cool new way and all of that. We really hope that you enjoyed this feature as much as we did making it for you all. And if you have any questions, use the comment section below. There's always a 3D designer there to help you all. And if you want to learn more and if you want to keep learning about Clo and everything, check out this channel, the Clo YouTube channel. There's so many great videos to learn and to watch about. Thanks again.